Hi there, it's Abigail from the Creative Bix and I'm going to show you how to make those gradient letters. First we're going to tap that wrench icon and click add text and then you get to pick your font. I'm going to choose impact for today and then we're going to type the word gradient. From there we're going to go to our move tool and we're going to increase the size of this font just to make it a little bit bigger. And because fonts are vectors you can increase the size without losing quality. And now I'm just going to turn on snapping to center it. From there we're going to add a new layer on top of the text layer. And you can draw whatever pattern you like. Today I'm just going to be drawing some stripes. From there we're going to head over to our adjustments menu and tap Gaussian Blur. And all you need to do is drag to the right to blur the layer. Now in your layer menu you're going to tap that blurred layer again and then you're going to tap Clipping Mask. What that does is it clips that layer to the text layer below it. And now we're just going to pinch those two layers to combine them. And we're going to duplicate it twice so now we have three layers. With the middle layer we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. And then you're going to swipe right on the bottom layer so they're both selected. Now we're going to move these two layers together and offset them from the very top layer. Now back in the layer menu with the two bottom layers selected, swipe right on the top layer and group them and now duplicate that group. From there we want to flatten that group and then we're going to alpha lock it by swiping with two fingers. Now selecting black, I'm going to fill that layer and then we just want to move that layer to be below the group. Swipe right on that layer again with two fingers to unalpha lock it and then we're going to Gaussian blur it so we can create a drop shadow. And from there we're going to tap the move tool so we can offset that shadow from those colorful letters and I'm just going to turn off snapping so it makes it a little bit smoother to move that shadow around. And we're just going to turn down the opacity so that it's not as harsh. And on a blank layer below everything, I'm going to add a background color just so everything isn't against a harsh white. Now adding a new layer on top of everything, I'm going to add some details using my Sadie brush that you can find in my Etsy in the description below. I'm just going to add a little bit of shine to the upper left parts of each letter. And then you're finished! If you recreate this, tag me on Instagram so I can see all of your amazing work at the Creative Bix. Thanks for watching!